Well, in we started with this event, um, exactly this event, uh, and it's a uh, uh, Reykjavik Di Digital Freedoms Conference, and it was held at the University of Reykjavik on the 1st of December 2009. And uh, I was invited to speak there, um, and uh, Julian Assange and Daniel, at the time called Smith, now Tom Seidberg, were speaking on behalf of WikiLeaks. And they were discussing this idea that had actually been re uh, presented a year earlier by John Perry Barlow, the founder of the Electronic uh, uh, Foundation in the US, about taking the model of the tax haven, where, you know, if I want to start a tax haven tomorrow, I would pull together all the best laws in the world in order to create secrecy. Now, the idea that John Perry Barlow first uh, provided here in Iceland was to create um, sort of Switzerland of bytes, where you could uh, provide safe haven for freedom of information. We wanted to change or write or improve, upgrade 10 different laws in four different ministries. And uh, so it would it would have been impossible because of the system we have and traditions for parliamentary laws not to be passed uh, or laws that are written by parliamentarians and particularly from the smallest movements or parties. So we decided in collaboration with the um, staff here in the parliament uh, to create a proposal tasking the government to, to do this task of changing 10 different laws um, or writing. For example, we don't have any proper whistleblowing legislation, which is critical for a small country like this. And to my amazement, I uh, somehow managed to get um, the entire parliament to agree to do this, uh, including the government, the, the prime minister, and um, all the ministers that were present during this voting. I really call upon people uh, to look at laws, not only information laws, but laws in general, uh, and find, to use the method and the, uh, the way of the hacker. Okay, so like the hackers, they look at systems uh, online uh, and they look for the weaknesses in the system. And sometimes they, by exposing it, um, you know, sometimes in a very colorful way, uh, they show the weakness and then the companies responsible for the weakness can improve that or they, the hackers themselves, improve them. The good benefit of working with Wikileaks at this time was that they had managed to evade uh, both the lawyers from around the world that had threatened uh, them and taken them to court. They had won all the court cases and they've always managed to keep the information online no matter what. So they had the hands-on experience uh, where the countries are actually functioning, where they're not just nice letters on a piece of paper. Doing what we're doing with EMI, it's not about making Iceland necessarily the best country in the world, but to set the standard. Because from my experience, I've been traveling all over the world to speak about freedom of information because of EMI and of course uh, because of my work with Wikileaks. I was one of the um, core volunteers during the times of the collateral murder video and, and I co-produced that. Um, I feel that there is just so much need that we stay on top of things and that we uh, make sure that we have these pillars of democracy. If you don't have freedom of information, expression and speech, you are not living in a democracy. Keep shoot. Keep shoot. For the time being, we do not have any civic rights with our information online, uh, yet so much of our very personal information is now stored, uh, and particularly in hostile countries like the US.